Ya su Carla. Hi. Um, I think that you have your video off. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Can you listen me right? Yep, I can hear you. Enjoy the interview. Thank you. So I already start the recording. So first of all, Victor, thank you very much for giving you giving us a little bit of your time. Of course, thank you for having me. So welcome to the Bravo Eurovision family. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And what do you want to say to the viewers about you, about your entry for Eurovision? How will you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Victor Renikos. I'm representing Greece this year in Eurovision with my song, What They Say. Uh, it's a song that's very real to me. It's very honest. And uh, I hope you guys can connect with it. I hope it makes a difference for you guys. And it, it stands out and is unique as I... And, and, and it just feels authentic to you guys. And uh, I really hope that uh, you'll vote for us in in, sem in the semifinal and in, in the final of Eurovision. So, of course, you are very young. I think you are one of the youngest of this year. I am. Yeah, I am the youngest in this year. I'm 16 years old. Yes. How do you feel about living this experience at this age? <laughs> I feel amazing. Um It's, it's such a blessing and I, I think I have the opportunity to inspire people, you know, that could be just as young as me and there's a lot of people that can tell a 16 year old that, you know, you can't do it or, or loads of other things, you know, um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy to have this opportunity to inspire people, even, even, even older people of all ages to, to do things that people might say, tell them that aren't possible. And How, in what moment you decide to participate in the national selection for Eurovision? I, right, so I, I, Eurovision was always a dream since I've been like eight years old. Like the first song I sang live to an audience was Heroes by Months, so my love, uh, from Sweden. Uh, and it's, it's been a dream since then, but it became a goal last year when I heard Amanda's song that represented us yet yeah, um i was about to say yesterday <laughs> uh, that represented us last year uh in eurovision when i heard that before before eurovision i i got very very excited and i was like i want to go next year i want to go next year and of course your, your song it's called what they they say so yeah what is the message that you want to transmit to the people and the listeners What I want to transmit to people is to express themselves. That's what the song symbolizes. Uh, it's expression uh, through, through through that song, uh, at least. That, that's what it symbolizes. Is it express yourself? And in another way, people can listen to my song to express themselves if they've ever gone through anything that's been uh, anything close to anxiety or overwhelmingness, uh, which is uh, feelings loads of people have at young ages and older ages especially the younger generation now with uh, everything going on. Um, and yeah, I'm just reaching out to them and saying, express yourself in general uh, to your friends, your family, speak up. Um, whether that you can express yourself through art or through just word of mouth. Uh, and yeah, and my song will always be, my, my songs in general, through the honesty and vulnerability that I write them in, will always be a way for you to express yourself in. And I think what they say does that. So I hope people find it useful. And what will you say that are your inspiration or the influence that you have in your music? Well, I don't know. I've, I've been influenced by loads, loads and loads of artists. Like I love many, many, many artists. I mean, one of, one of the first inspirations I had was was a guy called Ed Sheeran. Uh, uh, I love. He was the first person I saw live. He was like my my young idol. Um, but but I listened to so so many types of music and. Uh, I've, I've been raised on a wide variety of music as well, like blues, jazz, soul, hip hop as well, pop, um, funk, uh, a little bit of classical music, uh, a, a lot of stuff. I listen to loads and loads of music and I just appreciate whatever's good. Whatever's good, I'll listen to it, you know. Um, so, so I have lo loads of aspirations, but uh, Ed Sheeran is definitely one of my early idols. So, of course, you say that you you have memories from Eurovision since you were a little Eight. kid. What are yeah. your favorite moments from Eurovision? 
Oh, my favorite moments of your vision. Uh, well, this was one I wasn't, I didn't live. So I, I one that's really close to my heart is when Greece won the, the contest in 2005. But I didn't, I didn't live that as a memory. It was just me watching on YouTube later and people talking about it. I mean, that's a, always something I think about as a, as a big moment that I really look up to. Um, but sing, singing heroes for, in front of a crowd for the first time is what, actually one of the points that was pivotal in my career, in, in, in my career, my, my, my feelings and myself and my attitude towards music because people, the people reacted very well. And uh, I think that is one of the things that gave me real confidence to keep doing, to, to follow music, you know? And from this year, you have talk with other artists we saw you interact very much with Andrew for, from Cyprus what yeah. are your experience with the other contestants of this year I've been messaging as, as many as possible I, I, I'm, I'm loving meeting everybody and uh, yeah Andrew, Andrew's a nice guy as well I, I met Andrew from, from uh, up close I saw him here in Greece he came to Athens Uh, very, very nice guy. I can vouch for him on that. And yeah, I hope Cyprus does well this year as well. Classic Greek, a Greek and uh, Cypriot love. He's a, he's a really nice guy. And apart from your song, what other songs of this year do you like? Uh, I, I, I love loads of them. I love all the songs. Um, oh, there's so many. I, I've been saying this a lot. I really like Czechia's uh, chorus in the song. Uh, but, but but I love I love all the songs. I I couldn't choose one. Like I, I can't even choose Czechia's, but but because there's so many other beautiful ones as well. But I think that's one that really stands out to me. Um, and I can't say my own because I've written it, so I'm biased. So uh, <laughs> the, there's loads. I, I love I love all the songs this year, and I'm just so excited to be going to Liverpool, seeing so many beautiful songs. And of course, we know that the staging and the performance in general for Liverpool, like quite a secret but what can we expect from you you can expect me i've been saying this to everybody uh which is i think it's descriptive but non-descriptive in the same way the the staging is going to be something that expresses the original emotion of the song so what i try to do when i write music is to be as honest to, to, as as possible to myself and to the emotion to carry that emotion pure as purely as possible through the processes of writing so I have an emotion, then it goes to the songwriting, and then it goes to the production, and now it's going to go on the stage, just as it did to the music video too. So I'm trying to express that emotion as much as possible on the stage so that it passes then on to the crowd in the best way possible. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I hope it's impressive. I hope everybody likes it. So remember the people in which semifinal language spoke you are going to be competing for them to remember and for for you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I will be performing with Greece on the second semifinal of Eurovision in the first half in the eighth place. So that's all. Yeah, so of course this year the vote for the the viewers it's more important because only the fans are going to decide who is going to the yeah in the semifinal for the sure. Final. And what do you want the people? to to feel and to connect with your song that day? I, I want them to find a way, find expression in this song. I want, it, I want to help them express themselves with whatever they've been through. Um, and I hope it inspires them. I hope it sends a positive message of love and of like reality and honesty and uh, genuineness and uh, the authenticity of the song really gets to them. That's, that's what I'm, I'm hoping for and I hope I, just as I said in the start, I can inspire other people to do the same and not listen to anybody when they tell them that you can't do something. Uh, yeah, just follow what you love and I hope the, the song connects with you. And do you have plans for after Eurovision? I know that you're right now focused on this journey, but mm -hmm. do you have plans for new music or collaboration? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to releasing as much music as possible. I'd love to collaborate with some of the artists from Eurovision this year as well. Uh, I'd love to do loads of things. I'm I'm very very excited. I'm definitely creating more music by the day. Whenever I'm not working towards Eurovision, I get some a few hours by myself. I'm making music to release after uh, after Eurovision. So and I'm hoping to release it as soon as possible so people can start listening to the music as well. Hopefully they like it and uh, 
they can continue following me through my journey. Yes, so here at Bravo Eurovision, we like to think that we can support the artist even mm -hmm. after the Eurovision journey, because that sometimes yeah. Eurovision is only only the start point, and mm -hmm. and Thank it's important so for us to give you give you the platform to share your music or new projects or tour for being more close to the fans. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you so much. I, re I really, really, really appreciate that. And you're totally right. So, Victor, we want to thank you very much for giving us this interview. We really thank hope you so that you enjoyed this journey, that it's going to be a lifetime experience. And we want to wish you all the best for, for Eurovision, for your semifinal. We hope to see you on the final again. Definitely, definitely. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your time and uh, and thank you for having me. And if you want to say some words of goodbye to our viewers for them to, to yeah. stay tuned with you and your music. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Bobby Eurovision. I mean, I mean, my, my message is just uh, love, you know, follow, follow the things you love doing. Follow. Just get, give yourself to love, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just go and, and follow the things you love and the things you love and, and don't let anybody doubt you. That's it. And just don't stop. Work, work a little bit hard sometimes and uh, and just continue doing that. Uh, I hope you like my music. I hope it helps you express yourself. As I said before, I'm I'm always as honest and as genuine as possible. I hope that gives you something and I hope you vote for us in the semifinal and the final, hopefully, as well. So thank you very much, Victor. Remember, people, vote for the number eight on the second semifinal for Greece. And we so really appreciate that you give us a little bit of your time. Thank you very much. And again, Anytime. welcome to the Bravo Eurovision family. And we are going to be here with you in this adventure. Thank you so much, Bravo Eurovision. I love you guys. Thanks. Thank Cheers. you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.